The Defense Equal Opportunity Management Institute, or DOMI, ushered in a new chapter during a recent Assumption of Leadership ceremony that saw Colonel Amy L. Storm become DOMI's 17th military commandant. Colonel Storm is also the first Air Force National Guard commandant in the 48-year history of the Institute. I'm really pleased to be here in the Guard. We have, uh, annually we do a force development where you talk about, you know, what are your goals, what are your plans, that kind of thing. Um, and every time that I start a statement, I say I want to remain relevant and I want to have an impact. So DOMI is already a professional schoolhouse that's doing wonderful things, but it's that idea of always re-looking at yourself and saying how can we make things better. And then the other thing that I think of is taking care of people. Because if I take care of the people, the people will take care of the mission. Colonel Storm emphasized the important role that diversity plays in today's military and how Diomi is in a perfect position to make a difference. We've got all kinds of different people with all kinds of different ideas. And if we just open it up so that all those people feel um, like they can provide something um, and that they'll be listened to, I think that we'll find some great things that come out of that. When we're talking about diversity, uh, Colonel Storm, it's like a match made in heaven between her and Daomi. Uh, she was an uh, enlisted person, she became an officer, her background's in education, she's got diversity background, she did homeland, she did operational, she's got it all. Colonel Storm also reflected upon the bigger picture, just what it is that makes Daomi the exceptional place of learning that it has become since it first opened in 1971 as the Defense Race Relations Institute. What we're really doing at DOMI is shaping culture within the services. So if you have one schoolhouse that is bringing all the people together from all the different services and saying these are the things that you, um, that you can expect when you're in the military, whether you're a civilian contractor or a military person, these are how we expect you to treat others, um, that we can change the culture of all the services from within. Reporting for Diomi Minute, I'm Rich Fagler.